Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making a Jeopardy style game controller with the Circuit Playground. We set up arcade buttons as buzzers, so whoever presses there first will light up the host controller. The Circuit Playground is fitted inside a 3D printed case and the NeoPixels light up in the player's color of choice. Dylan Harada wrote the code in CircuitPython and set it up so it can also work as an HID USB controller. You can even enable wireless Bluetooth control with the onboard slide switch. The code is commented really well and it's fully customizable to add support for additional buzzers. The Circuit Playground has tons of built-in goodies that make getting started with CircuitPython really fun and easy. You can get the parts to build this project by heading over to the Learn Guide. Links are in the description. The parts to build the case are 3D printed, snap fit together, and printed with minimal supports. The enclosure is printed in translucent PLA filament. Normally labeled as natural clear, this diffuses the NeoPixels so it can evenly illuminate the case. Hardware screws and nuts can be used to connect the wires to the pads on the circuit playground. You can bend the pins from jumper cables to make them right angled so it's easier to bolt and fasten. Check out the learn guide for a full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project. The circuit playground is fitted into the enclosure with the USB port lined up with the cutout. It's secured to the available mounting holes using M3 screws. To boost up the sound, a stem speaker is mounted under the case. Additional screws secure the speaker to the bottom of the enclosure. This bottom cover has a speaker grill and snap fits under the case. The wires are routed through this hole so they can plug into the arcade buttons. For the host controller, an LED arcade button is used and gets mounted to the top cover. You can use cables with quick connects to easily plug them into the arcade buttons. Once installed, the top cover snap fits over the enclosure. The buzzers feature a similar assembly, but with a threaded screw on top. The jumper cables can then be connected by plugging them into the JST connectors. It's a fairly modular assembly, so you can easily disconnect things and put them back together. We like using it as a standalone controller and use it alongside an iPad while playing Jeopardy. We're having lots of fun with it and hope this inspires you to check out the Circuit Playground and Circuit Python.